Today, we're discussing the smart village concept. It's a whole twist on the way we look at where we live, our economies, or what our economy actually is. This smart village concept, it's putting people first. And if people are correct and healthy, well then, the mainstream economics will follow. Today we're looking at our town, the idea of the importance of towns and the roles of towns in people's lives. We're trying to, I suppose, tease out what is a smart town, what is a smart village, what's the essence of it, and then what can we do to support that? I'm here today working with Kilkenny Leader Partnership as part of their social inclusion and community activation programme. And I was talking about um, relationships, basically relationships of care and partnerism. It's about an economy that is in service to society. So it's serving society, not serving, you know, a small group of private investors. Relationships are really at the heart of, of everything. And the relationship that we have in our families growing up, the relationships with our uh, friends, and then out into the community and out into society. Those relationships are so fundamental um, to our human experience. And we know from research that they're very fundamental to our health and well-being. And my interest is in how do we um, have a society that nurtures relationships that are uh, enriching. Mobility is about the ability for people to get around. Why, why is mobility important for a rural community? Well, I suppose we can pick three main things. The first is for the people themselves, because in rural communities, there's less and less services than there used to be. People have to get to many places much further away. So if they don't have means of mobility, their lives have been constrained. The second is for the businesses within the rural area and then if people can't get to them or if they can only get there by car and that damages let's just say the touristic or attractiveness of it that is a problem and then the third challenge is for the overall environment is that we really need to have less people traveling by car to everywhere they're going so the more we can start to concentrate people that they can live and work in their own areas but then they have means of travel without using a personal car that is a major a European and global challenge that we can help to resolve. The late Canon Hayes, who was the founder of Ruita de Tira, described the community as a social mix of equals. And I wanted to emphasize that again today, that's what it's about, that everybody is equal, that everybody has a place, uh, and that everybody has this sense of belonging. Our villages were there for generations, and we neglected them. They lost their identity and in many, many areas. Uh, so there's, I, was, I was down today really to talk about uh, the significance of villages and why people living in villages need to be proactive. They have to, to take on the task themselves and they have to give advice to their own communities. They have to work towards including people because inclusion is a huge part of it. But a huge amount of stuff can be done on, on our own without any involvement of anybody else. If you're involved, you'll meet people, you'll get to know people, you'll feel that sense that I belong here and, uh, and other people will appreciate what you give. How do we develop a circular economy to the benefit of towns to make people's uh, lives better, the quality of lives better? A smart community, a smart village, a smart town is one which includes people, makes use of all the skills of a community. Being part of a leader partner, Kilkenny Leader Partnership, because of I've been able to actually get myself work through them and I've been able to actually upgrade my CVs, do a couple of small courses with them. I think it's so important to have inclusion in this world, like to, no matter what race you are, what gender you are, what um, ability you have, I, I look at this world with people that have a meaning.